Let's go! Hagiara versus Battle Ripper. This is the very first match of today's uh, Brojo Cup, which is, by the way, complete. We have attained 100% of attendance today. So 32 players to play just for your entertainment. I am really looking forward to it. I hope you are as well. Protect your bowel. Protect your butt. <laughs> exactly. Hopefully for him, everything is going to be okay because this is not your normal run-in-the-mill Jackal player. It is none other than Hagiara facing Battle Ripper, so it's going to be extremely strong to uh, do anything to this Jackal, if I might say. But we'll see, we'll see. Anyways, as we can see, Hagiara is definitely running a train as of now already. Down more than half of the life. <laughs> Actually, just finished the very first round. Right now, Hagiara takes the first round. Stream category is still- No freaking way, are you serious? Good lord, I hate it when it does this. I don't know what's happening. Thank you very much for the heads up, uh, by the way. Much appreciated. I definitely updated it. I don't understand why I did not. What the hell is this? My bad. Let me update it real quick. What the hell? Thank you for the heads up. Much appreciated. Uh, I, definitely up up I definitely updated it before going live. I don't understand why it came back. It, it went back to like what it was before but anyways i'm going to update it again it's so annoying when it does this so wait we have uh we have nage we have uh who else do we have we have steven we have roy steven i get a hmm i got a caffeine good boy and many more this is the number 103. Okay, good. And uh, good stuff from Bowel Ripper actually managed to take the, uh, the second round. While I was not looking. <laughs> Pretty cool. Very nicely done. Which can be... Yeah, I know, right? You are very welcome. Nice to see you. Yeah, it's much appreciated. I Very nice to see you too, man. Your bowels are uh, <laughs> being ripped by this pot. Exactly, and look at that! Hagiara with the conversion station did not get the kickoff uh, kick to finish uh, their combos though. And Bowel Ripper doing a good job of trying to get out of the quarter, but just got hit. Abba Hype Client, man, I'm going to play the heck out of it. <laughs> Trust me on this one. Tomorrow I'm going to stream uh, while I uh, while I, um, I, cr I I play with her. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna I'm definitely gonna dabble with her. I'm not gonna lie. Maybe change. Uh, change uh, mains? I don't know. If I really like her, if I really connect, there might be the possibility that I decide to play her, yeah, completely. And Chef Trains. Yeah, I'm really hyped. Really looking forward to this. Yeah, tomorrow, if uh, you guys are free, please feel free uh, to join my stream. I'll be streaming my ABBA training session as well as some, probably some uh, uh, celestial matches uh, once I feel you know, once I feel uh, at ease enough to bring her online, actually. But that being said, we are currently in the Virgil Cup. And as you can see, Hagiara already taking quite a lead on the road to take the first round of the second map. He stream a VTuber avatar soon. Uh, I already have one. I'm a banana. I'm a banana. <laughs> I have a banana. Uh, a key stream VTuber avatar soon. <laughs> I need to find one though. I don't know if there's one available, a key type of avatar for the software that I'm using. I don't believe I have I, I have seen one. So it might be a little bit hard and I don't have like the necessary knowledge to uh, to make one myself. But if I find one on uh, what's it called? Snap Camera, which is the software I'm using for the banana that I use a lot on my stream. Uh, I will definitely, I will definitely see. You know what? After this uh, stream, once I'm offline and everything, I'm gonna check if they have like a key type of avatar that I can use. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna check it out. Yeah, for sure, for sure. That's actually a pretty good idea, my mineral. I'm definitely gonna check it out. Anyways, here we go with Bowel Ripper trying to bait something out. Probably the uh, Yellow Roman Council. And unfortunately um, for him, Hagiara was very, very respectful. Did not bite. And I get out with the standing HK, HS, I'm sorry, counter hit into the juggle, into the illusion driver. Not enough to kill, enough. Yes, enough with the pickup and the juggle. Hagiara nails the second match as well, as expected from one of the best uh, Jackal player in the world. Let's see if he can continue on this journey. We shall see. And here we go with the 
uh, the burst, actually. Okay, let me check real quick the bracket just to see if everybody's uh, fine, if we don't have any trouble. Everything seems good. Yeah, everything seems pretty good. Ooh, a little bit too far to get the Roman dash cancel right there from Battle Ripper to try to potentially SPD uh, Hagiara, unfortunately for him. Oh, and here we go with the super... <laughs> Not the super, but yeah, the super Potemkin trying to entire Hagiara, and unfortunately for him, Hagiara was not in the air when this happened. And Bowel Ripper getting hit by the Illusion Driver. Wakes up with the super to get them invincibility frame. Catches Hagiara trying to backdash with the uh, Wild Assault, Wild White Assault. And has Hagiara in the mix-up. What is gonna happen? Yeah, Hagiara press the button and Hagiara is bye-bye. Good stuff from Bowel Ripper. Takes the second round and definitely not out of this yet. Doesn't want to uh, get sent in the loser's bracket right away. Ooh, very big counter hit right there for Hagiara. Keeping the corner positioning. Enduring Hagiara's relentless assaults. And here we go with the wall break. The backdash of Hagiara on the slider head have been pristine. Unfortunately for him, he got hit by the counter hit right there. And be sent straight into the... Oh, the corner gets it in midair. Counter hit by Bowel Ripper, who... Uh, fortunately for him, caused Hagiara to pop the burst. At least he doesn't have to worry about this anymore, but... Unfortunately, backdash straight when Hagiara popped the Roman cancel, which slowed him down right in the middle of his uh, backdash. And unfortunately for him, got hit by Hagiara uh, during his recovery frames. Let's see how this pans out. Very nice standing P for the entire. Hagiara gets the juggle and the corner carry and gets hit by the super pot. Very nice backdashes from Hagiara, man. He's been very consistent on the backdashes right during the active frames of the slider head. Here we go with the Garuda Impact. Try to go for the grab, but Hagiara with the backdash. A little bit early on the uh, command grab attempt by uh, Ball Ripper also, which I believe is the reason why he wasn't able to grab Hagiara. Anyways, here we go with Hagiara on match point, by the way, but, but, but... Oh no, he still grabbed him even though it was so high. This is a heartbreaker. Gets hit by the kickoff kicks. And unfortunately for Bowel Ripper. Uh, very important details. So let's see how this turns out. I always forget that is an actual grab. Yeah, it's an odd. GG. Kicking pot while he's already down. It isn't anymore. Yeah, indeed. And here we go with uh, Tsuboy versus Izmi Barrel. Tsuboy and Izmi Barrel actually were in the team tournament that I participated in, uh, which was in Shinjuku, and the Izmi Bell also was in this tournament, and they were teammates, uh, which is actually pretty funny because in today's tournament, they are facing against each other, uh, which is very, very funny. Let's see how this pans out. Very nice uh, mix-up right there from Izmi Bell got the overhead. That being said, Tsuboy has started the machine, Ooh, but gets hit by the cut show Fugats. Good stuff from Izmi Barrel. They didn't want to deal with any sword. Oh, you're gonna get punished right there. And here we go with Tsuboy goes for the front. The front offense. And Izmi Barrel loses this first round. Tsuboy just content to not do anything at the start. Oh, wow. And the wake up DP though. Let's see how this pans out. Ooh. Tsuboy getting his feet cut right there thanks to the Nagiha. Oh, and goes for the command grab, that cheeky boy. <laughs> so Tsuboy, yes, is a... Uh, well, actually, I think he just turned 19-year-old to, uh, today. Not today, but this year, I'm sorry. <laughs> and yeah, extremely uh, young player... Well, not extremely, but very young player. Started playing uh, like two years ago and first appeared the, in the uh, Tatakai Tuesday, which is a tournament hosted by Giuna. And uh, yeah, he made some very nice placement in Tatagai Tuesday. Uh, has been playing uh, both Chip and Happy Chaos. And extremely, yeah, very, very strong player. And uh, all the more because he's still quite young, so he still has room for improvement, which will inevitably come. So yeah, definitely looking forward to his uh, growth. And, but for now, he's getting hit by the dances from Izmi Barrel. Ooh, Izmi Barrel going for the cheeky resets with the grab and gets the other grab for the kill. Very nicely done. Andre, who has been recently buffed, is actually probably now a uh, viable character, if I might say. 
Don't tell uh, Gilgamesh or he might actually be angry. さあ、ありがとうございます。3-0 Sorry guys, yeah, I have a bit of a entanglement. Kai Ketsu. De Yoroshi de Soka. I think it should be fine. I think it should be fine though. Leon Stevenson, hi, お疲れ様です。僕のトーナメント勝ったのに、ああ、わかりました。今ちょうど今見てます。大丈夫でしょうか。今多分。えっと、トーナメント表がおかしいなことになっているからなおしてほしい。ああ、そう。ああ、はい
Pretty nice idea, yeah. That is actually pretty nice. Or I could just shut up, actually. I just wait and just let the viewers enjoy what's going on on screen and me just not doing any... not, like, saying anything. That might be an option as well. But yeah, you're right, actually. TO, TO in progress, yeah. I'll think about it. That's actually a pretty nice idea. Anyways, here we go with Tsuboy and the whiff punishment straight into Ototoy, oh, come on! So it's gonna be the wake up options right there. Tsuboy going for a save jump, gets the second hit, man! And continues the onslaught. Goes for the fully charged dust into the wall break for the kill. Tsuboy on match point on the verge of sending his me barrel in the loser's bracket. Let's see if he's able to nail it or not. We shall see. Ooh, drops it. And his B-Barrel, no, was not able to get a correct, a correct punish on it. Abiyat's boy is out of Oberst, but he doesn't care. Straight into again the Ototoy Kamon. Let's see. The Samurai goes for the uh, cross-up. The backdash from his B-Barrel, unfortunately, gets hit again. And then boy has... Had the opportunity to do so many of this overdrive. Oh, try to get oh here to see it. Yeah, this is done. If yeah, if Tuboy doesn't drop it and he doesn't, Tuboy makes his way. Like battle Maron Chan versus Haruki. Let's see how this pans out. And we are on to the, the round number two of the tournament, actually. Big playoff kick right there. A big counter hit on this as well. So let's see how this Haruki manages to keep the pressure going. Oh, God, Maron picked him up out of the air. Maron sound with the backdash. Well, getting hit by it. Oh, man. With the backdash. Oh, a little bit too far to get the follow up DP. I do believe it was probably, well, it was probably a uh, execution error, I do believe. And Haruki with the wall break using the minions. Very nicely done. And here we go with Haruki getting the first round against such a good player as Moron. Extremely nice performance from Haruki. Gets it out of the air, unfortunately, for him. Here we go with Maron trying to dispatch, well, to dispose of the minions as much as possible prior to bringing the heat towards Haruki. And he's in. Let's see what are the mixes. And Maron, man, with the optimization station, gonna go straight for the wild assault for the guaranteed knockdown. Goes for the safe jump and the fuzzy and gets it and is able to nail it. Very nicely done. That was beautiful, by the way. Good lord. Yo, African, how are you doing? Konbanwa. Ah, eh, to Lancelot to san desu ne. O genki de shou ka? Nani ka. Nani ka, eh, to. Daijibu desu de shou ka? Bonda yarimasu de shou ka? And here we go with the illusion driver. And the close-up pressure, Haruki bringing the heat, goes for the freaking late overhead. And gets the wall break. Also the hard knockdown, but man, Maron with the wake-up DP. And gets some pressure going on, he does have a quite... Oh wow, and gets the counter hit! Big conversion right there. It goes for another one, but man, Haruki with the 2D guaranteed. Not guarantees, but reaches Maron right at the tip of his hitbox. Very nicely done. Oh, actually, sorry. Yeah, first match goes to Haruki. Very nicely done. <laughs> and here we go with the second round. And it's on with a zoning game. Maron really doesn't want to get hit by the minions. And the minion game has been set. What is Maron going to do? In the corner has to endure this pressure. Gets out of it. Actually, pretty... Um, Pretty nicely, very nice backdash on the wild, on the white wild assault, on the white, on the wild assault, on the WW. Anyways, here we go on the WA. And Maron trying to keep Haruki on the ground gets the 6P counter hit, the juggle, and this is going to do a lot of damage. Straight into the WA. 2D the superior stun the British, man. Doesn't, yeah. Safe on block, I, well, it's cancelable, yeah. Special cancelable, so you can... Technically make it safe, I do believe. Very nice uh, move, yeah. Anyways, with Maron getting the first round of the second match, let's see if he can continue this uh, comeback and eventually take the second match as well. Very nice air to air right there from Maron. Ah, trying to get that hit. Yeah, and get the hit in. Oh, fails to get the juggle. Again, tries to go 
for the shimmy, if I might say. And here we go with the lock stun. And goes for it. No, the low this time around. And gets the kill. Good lord, Maroon, man. Maroon, such an explosive Kai, man. So crazy. Very nicely done. Okay, I think we are good. Yeah. Nobody's calling me on uh, the tournament bracket, which is extremely good. So let's see if everything can go smoothly. We shall see. And here we go with Maroon trying to get that. Oh, Lord. Trying to get that sniped in. Okay, and... Maroon failed to get uh, the hit on Haruki to keep him in the corner. Haruki getting that counter hit. And this should do for the first round of this uh, third match. Very nicely done by Haruki. Keeping his head straight. And Haruki man with the zoning. Ah, just wants them minions on the floor. Ah, but gets hit by the jump in of Maroon. Haruki very nice tech. Gets the 6p counter hit. Tries to bait the DP right there. Gets the punish on the back dash using the Roman cancel. Uh, how do you say it? Slow down. Here we go with the jump in. Safe jump, that is. Ah, tries to go for the shimmy man, but Haruki with the freaking blocks. Ooh, gets the 2D in. Goes for another 2D. Wants to keep the pressure going using the minion and gets the 2D. Punish on the fireball attempt straight into the illusion driver. Illusion driver! Good lord. Haruki on the verge of taking it. Gets it by the wake up DP again. And man, with Maroon and the shimmy. But still gets clipped by uh, the minion of Haruki. Haruki up 2 to 1. Definitely not completely one-sided, but Haruki doing a very good job of uh, of uh, taking them matches one by one. Maroon getting clipped by the 6P right there. Ooh! The freaking... The reach of the close S of Kai is something to be... Is something to be really admired, man. Very nice grab right there from Maroon. Goes for the save jump, and it's shimmy time. Uh, not shimmy time, it's uh, it's fuzzy time, sorry. Very nice wall break, and Fudra Dark for the kill. Good stuff from Maron Chan. Yeah, it's the first round. Is he gonna be able to get the second? We shall see. Big four is counter it. Oh lord. Here we go with the air to air. No more minions for you. You can see Maron trying to fish them tech attempts. From Haruki. Haruki with the 2D. Good stuff from Haruki, man. If you get dispose of the burst of his opponent. And here we go with the jump in. Woo! A little bit too late, man. A little bit too early on the, on his meaties right there. Ah, good jump out from Maron. Even got the side switch. Tries to get the bait on the burst. But yeah, Haruki not giving it to him. And rightfully so, he would have died if he did. So let's see how this pans out. Oh, and the standing K getting rid of both the minion and Haruki at the same time. Maronchan up to the two. Let's see how this pans out. Is Haruki going to be able to seal the deal or is Maron going to take it? We shall see. Nice 2k right there from Haruki. Ah, again, Haruki with the 2k going so far, man. Getting the hits in. And you're in jail. But Maron says, hell no, I'm not. <laughs> I'm a wake up DP. I don't care. Good stuff from Haruki, man. Got all three minions on. He doesn't have a lot of, uh, of uh, what's it called? Uh, the, uh, the, the minion gauge. And again gets hit by the tech attempt. Maron with the optimization station combo right there. Look at the damage. It's gonna happen. Again, tries to go for it, but Haruki this time. Oh! And the Quake cancel on the Roman cancel, man. Four to take Haruki off guard and get the killing combo. That being said, this time around, Maron got clipped by the standing K. And Haruki takes this opportunity to get a wall break. Guaranteeing a hard knockdown using the WA. Oh, Lord! That was an unfortunate timing for ADP, and Haruki takes full advantage of it. He's not going to get the wall break, unfortunately, a little bit too far from it. Haruki man with the blocks, but there's only so many 
mixes you can block and Aoki taking it with a perfect we are on match point last round latch last match the one who takes this one takes it all this is not the grand finals don't worry ah no entire red there from Maron man just letting Haruki get out of the corner for free and the minion game has been set nice 10 DK right there from Maron gets the hit should be able to get a full corner carry combo but Haruki uses his burst to get out of oh lord and the food were dark yeah you can see Maron wary of the wake up uh what's it called the wake up overdrive from how to keep very nice far s man it's been doing wonders for them uh but yeah man how to keep wants the minions man he wants to be, have that safe pressure going on in order to approach yeah nice stuff from maron and gets the freaking off he almost dropped it but thanks to the roman bar the, the tension bar that he built right at the end he was uh so i have some uh some toing to do i'm going to ask you guys to wait a couple of seconds i'll be right back Okay, sorry for the wait. I have finished queuing. <laughs> okay, anyways, here we go. So, uh, this is the uh, second Steven that uses Hiragana. Is that a coincidence? No, it's the same. It's exactly the same. I think he has two... Uh, he has two accounts, actually. Uh, and uh, this is his second account, I do believe. So, yeah. No, it's the same Steven. We, he had exactly the same problem. For some reason, the uh, the platform that we're using for the to tournament... Uh, even if she inputs... Let's say that you win 3-0 against your opponent. Even if you put 3-0 and in your favor, the sometimes the system is going to give you the loss for some unknown reason. For now, it's it's buggy apparently. So yeah, we uh, Steven had this problem like twice uh, in a row. So yeah, I, I just had to go in and save him <laughs> basically. So it's fine, it's fine. Everything's fine now. Hmm. Uh, just gonna check another time. Yeah, everything's fine now. It should be fine. Anyways, we are back on track, and unfortunately for me, I wasn't able to see the beginning of this match, but I could definitely see that uh, both players are really going at it. One round apiece, both definitely does, do not want to be sent at the in the loser's bracket. Very nice pacing from Amato, though. Gets jumped in. Oh, unfortunately, could have gotten the kill, but gets hit by Dito Tsugeki. And here we go with the damage, but Amato goes straight. Oh, Lord gets hit by the anchor and gets hit by the... Are you serious? The snaps right at the end. Gets hit by a fully charged dust. And Sayonji nails it right at the end and takes it from the hands of Amato, man. That must have hurt so bad for Amato. He was definitely not waiting for this. He was not expecting this at all. Anyways, good stuff from Sayonji, but Amato is no slouch. Extremely strong um, Faust player. I'm definitely, definitely, I'm sure he's not going to go down 3 0. So let's see how this pans out. Uh, Amato with the very good use of the standing K to neutralize the aerial approach of Sayonji, but gets hit by the jump in. Forced to pop the burst, goes for the Scarecrow side switch. And unfortunately for him, gets a side switch on his combo as well, but lands a counter hit straight on top of the head of Sionji and gets the kill. Good stuff from Amato gets the first round. Let's see if he can continue this. We shall see. Eyes me barrel. Thank you very much for the bits. Much appreciated, brother. I hope you're still in the you lost. Ah, that sucks. You had a very nice uh 
first uh, set against uh, Tsu Tsuboy, though. That was a very nice set. But it's fine, man. You'll do better next time. Don't worry. GG's, bro. And thanks for the bits again. Much appreciated. Anyways, here we go with Amato and the corner carry. He is currently up one round. But down one match, unfortunately, for him. He definitely needs this one if he wants to uh, not be down too much. He gets the knockdown. Here we go with the close-up pressure. The bomb is out. And the little Faust here to save the father, but gets hit by the 6P, unfortunately. Thanks for the opportunity. Of course, man. You'll have plenty of other opportunities. Don't worry. Thank you very much, man. And here we go with... Ooh, the next round. No entire from Amato, unfortunately, for him. Okay, gets the knockdown, though. Oh, now tries to go for the command grab, but it's fine. He's got a banana. And goes for the command grab this time around. And the double... Jumping the straight into the overdrive to prevent Sionji from having the opportunity to burst. Even though he didn't have any burst at that time. Not enough to kill because... Why not? Because of Guts. Of course, Mei is a... Uh, Japanese character, actually. Well, a Japanese nationality uh, character in the game. So, as most of you guys know, Japanese characters in this game have a lot of Guts. And second match goes to Amato. We have a tie, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see if uh, the shift of battle, the shift of the, the tide of battle is going to shift or not. We shall see. Anyway, here we go with the burst. And the cavalry is out. Preventing Sanji from making any step forwards. Gets in tired by Amato, but gets a lateral, oh, lateral to Tsugeki. Little Faust made it so that Amato had the time to run up straight and get the command grab, putting some fire on that wig. That being said, oh, Meteor is out, and oh, unfortunately for Amato, he tried to get a side switch combo using the teleport of the Scarecrow while the Meteor was effectively out, but gets hit by the wake up overdrive from Silenji, who freaking steals that round. Good stuff, man. That was good stuff. Marionette decode to die randomly. Uh, Regarding the Tonamel issue, would not putting 3-1 instead of 3-0 also result in buggy outcome? I have no idea. But uh, for now, I'm just grateful that it only happens to Steam and not to uh, to other to other players. So for now, it, it's uh, it's it's fine. I I feel like it's probably just a really really um, low low chance uh, bug. Uh, as long as like it's not constant every single round, I feel like it's fine. I'll just let it rip. I just let it. Uh, let it let it go for now. If it uh, rec if it's recurrent, though, I might like put a directive for players to try and and do this. Like maybe put three and one instead of three and zero. But for now, it's fine. It's I'm pretty sure it's just random and uh, and very rare, a very rare uh, type of, of issue. That being said, we are back on the match. Very nice use of the three K anti airing, bro. I look at the damage straight into the overdrive. Is Mato gonna steal it back? We shall see. Boom! For me. And look at the damage. Well, it's, it's okay damage, I suppose. Uh, I'm also trying to get the follow-up, but was pushed out of the way because of the FD. Gets hit by the anchor. Let's see what is going to be. The neutral. Oh, Lord! Of course, I'm also going straight for the Scarecrow. Is that going to be enough? I'm pretty sure it will. Come on. I do know that she has a lot of guts. But yeah, that is overdrive into wall break. Yeah, yeah, that was gonna be it. Good conversion from Amato, man. And very good awareness going straight into the overdrive to get not only the damage from the overdrive, but also the added damage from the wall splat, which granted him with a win. Very nicely done. Let's see how this pans out. And Amato with the standing K, man, preventing Sionji from making his way close to him. Very nice blocks, though, from... Oh, Sionji! Forced to pop the burst to get Amato off of his hair. Out of his hair. And this is going to be a wall break. Amato eating that bomb. Now this spins out. Ooh, big, big 2S counter hit. This, this, this is going to do a lot of damage. Goes for the haircut. But boom. Is he going to put fire on that weight? Yes, he does. Salonji is in. Ooh. That was a very unfortunate timing for the grab from Amato. Unfortunately for him. Oh, Lord. Oh, what's gonna happen again? Sanji with the grab goes for Hado. Yeah, that, nah, nah, nah. Nah, 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 nah. That's not gonna happen. 
and I'm also taking it easily with the OTG close S. This is match point for Amato if he takes this one. He will be sending Soundry in the loser bracket. Gets it, unfortunately, by Soundry, by the, the grab from Soundry, actually. Let's see how this spins out. Nice jump in from Soundry. He's got the corner pressure and man, the juggle. Soundry not going down without a fight. Takes this one. He still needs to take another one if he wants to stay in the winner's bracket. Big jump in from Sionji. He tries to go for a grab, but Amato sniffing it out, just backdashing and punishing accordingly. They go with the OTG. Sionji pressing buttons on Wake Up, getting clipped by the meaties from Amato. And Amato going this time around for the command grab. Doesn't extend. Wait, don't learn in the shame. Amato taking. He had some, um, some business and could not attend uh, today's tournament, which is perfectly fine. We'll get him another day i am sure and in his steed is none other than his teammate whip steven so let's see how this pans out so here we go steven versus caffeine caffeine who is one of the strongest uh the strongest jackal player in the world you know what guys i'm gonna go fetch a glass of water i'll be right back Okay, very nice awareness from Caffeine to cancel that overdrive attempt because Steven was definitely not going to get hit by it. That being said, here we go with Caffeine. Goes, ooh, catches the bag dash with the 2k. Talked about Caffeine and instantly needed to hide it. Exactly, man. Exactly. And I'm in for a very long night because we have 32 players today. 30 freaking two players. We have a full house today, guys, which is absolutely crazy. I haven't had a full house in Brojo Cup in about, I, I would say, like two to three months. So it's really, really a very nice, um, very nice surprise. I suspect that everybody got hyped by the Arc Revo uh, World Tour and by the announcement of ABBA. So everybody is back in the game, I suppose. Anyways, and here we go with Steven and the Vortex. Catching, caffeine pressing some buttons and getting the wall spot. See how this pans out. Very nice to do right there. Catches Steven off guard. Caffeine bringing the heat. Logs the vortex and has to deal with the Fafnir. Very nice with punish from Steven. Couldn't get the kill though, but does get it this time around. Good stuff from Steven gets the first match very convincingly. And on to the next battle. Let's see how this spins out. And Steven getting counter hit right there. This must have hit a lot. And this must have hurt a lot. With the juggle, Steven forced to pop the burst. Gets the clean counter hit with the 6S. That being said, Caffeine did have the minion out. Forcing Steven to block. Getting the side switch straight into the Elysian Driver for the hard knockdown and wall break. Go with uh, Caffeine Wary of the wake-up DP options of Steven, probably. Yes, the whiff punish on the Bandit Bringer. Should be able to get the kill with the... No, not enough to get the kill with uh, the uh, juggle. That being said, yeah, uh, you can see Caffeine definitely fishing for that Vortex and getting the kill. First round of this second match goes to Caffeine. Let's see how this fans out. Ooh, big forest counter. This is going to hurt. I almost got the the follow up a little bit too far from the the the, um, the wall. Let's see how this pans out. Very nice use of the bringer to delay their fall. Steven going for the mixes. Nice blocks from Caffeine blocking the double overhead. Wow, that freaking dash! Are you serious? Ah, almost got the follow up. Unfortunately, a little bit too far. Okay, here we go, Steven. Force the block. Content to block, getting the full hit with the 6S. 
Goes for the Volcanic Vi Viper uh, juggle. Straight into the WA. Wild Assault 4. Guaranteed knockdown and gets the hit with the low. Good stuff from Steven. And on to the next battle. Good stuff from Steven catching Caffeine flinching here. With the standing K. And it's back with the minion game. Oh, almost got the hit in. But unfortunately for him, Caffeine was blocking that bringer and punished accordingly. Again with the minions, man. You can see Caffeine wary of the DP, though. Straight into the Elysian Drive. Is that? Yeah, it's gonna reach indeed. Uh, too far to get the wall breaker. Are you serious? That was pretty close, though. Ah, uh, Steven Force Pop the Burst. He's working pretty bleak for him, not gonna lie. Ah, uh, Bandit too far. Yeah, you can see uh, Steven getting a little bit annoyed. One hit. It. Oh, Lord, and the Bandit Bringer for the hit. He's gonna get that hard knockdown. Try to beat the wake up uh, overdrive, I suppose. That being said, Caffeine takes the second match and we have a tie, ladies and gentlemen. See how this pans out. Getting on to the next battle. Nice blocks. Steven forcing Caffeine to pop the burst. Very nice grab from Caffeine. Goes for the fake cross up, gets hit by the standing K though. Oh lord! Caffeine letting it rip, but got the second bar of tension to make it safe. Gets hit by the Bandit Bringer. What the hell was that? I don't know, but it worked. Wow! Good lord! Okay, Steven does not want to give this, this round to, to Caffeine at all. That will be too far to get the Bandit uh, Revolver, though. And here we go, the blocks. Wow, the cross under. There's only so much mixes you can block. Here we go, the bottom uh, vortex getting clipped by the, the throw. You hate to see it. And again with the throw from Caffeine. Caffeine definitely working on that conditioning right there. And gets the throw again for the kill. <clears throat> okay, Caffeine putting one on the board as well. Perfect tie right now. Let's see how this fans out. Oh, the bandit revolver. Good lord, going over that 2k. But Caffeine, man, finding their way out of the corner. Using the standing HS to punish the 6 HS attempt from Steven. And all of the OTG damage, bro. Good lord. Good stuff from Steven. Goes for the close S. Getting clipped by the TK, though. And man, Caffeine with the ambiguous cross ups, man. Ooh, lord. Again, Vortex straight in your face. <laughs> Very nice OS right there from Steven. Catching the back dash from Caffeine. Caffeine popping the yellow Roman cancel. In order to get some uh, momentum back. And again, man, with the 2k today, almost getting the kill with the OTG. And you have to hold it. Good lord, the pun, the, the freaking blocks. Yeah, you can see, yeah. Caffeine, definitely fishing, yeah, was definitely fishing for that vortex. Unfortunately, got hit by the. Uh, by the minions, got chipped by the minions, unfortunately for them. And Caffeine takes the lead 2 to 1. Gotta see how this pans out. Now, again with the bandit revolver going over the 2k attempts from Caffeine. Maybe the gun a little bit too far to get anything substantial going. Gets the jump in and the low. This time around goes low after the mix up. From the revolver. Good lord, too far. Big vortex going underneath the minion, and Steven takes the first round of this uh, this fourth match. Actually, what a perfect, what a statement. Hmm. Very nice confirms, but caffeine dropping this potentially due to an execution error, I suppose. There we go, the gun flame neutralizing the the air fireball attempt from Caffeine. And Steven with the whiff punish using the 2D, getting that knockdown and the follow up that comes with it. Very nice damage. Goes for the, for the safe jump and base the burst. And just like this, Steven taking that fourth match. Good stuff.
Up 2-2, two to two, we have a tie, ladies and gentlemen. Who is going to take this one and send the other one in the loser's bracket? We shall see in a couple of minutes. Very nice air to from Steven, forcing the burst from Caffeine. Good lord. And here we go with the wall break. Steven getting clipped by the 2k 2d though. Ah oh, man. Caffeine with the extension using the wild the, the wild assault. And getting the juggle with the minion. And the pressure has been has been so has been so relentless from Caffeine man. Look at this. Good stuff. Okay, one more opening ah oh, man steven does not want to lose this round ah oh, man he almost got the freak no not like this he had almost gotten the freaking hit air to air hit okay, no punish on the 2d but did get a oh wow the fafkir actually hit and connected ah look at this man Okay, let's see how this spins out. Nice jump in right there from Steven. Yes, yeah, the air to air too far to get a connection though. And man, look at this high, uh, not high, get a caffeine man with the freaking confirm. Straight into the illusion driver caffeine, taking a pretty nice, I almost got the lead. We have actually uh, a lot of similarities in the health department as for now. That being said, caffeine does have the the round leads and gets the knockdown. This is looking pretty bleak for Steven. He does have burst though. Gets it by the tab dust and caffeine, yeah. And caffeine getting the hit with the jump in. Counter hit and uh, sure that Atra is, is going to bring some heat and is going to be a little bit problematic for Nage, but we'll see, we'll see. Let's see how this pans out. This is a match I'm really looking forward to. So here we go on to the start of the match and Atra with the over S. This is the prime tool that Atra loves to use. Ah, gets it though by the dive kick of Nage. Nage starting the onslaught, going with the jumping D. Yeah, oh, keeping Atra in the corner does not want to let Atra out. Atra, yeah, having to force, uh, having to keep the block right there in order not to get hit by the bomb. Atra already forced to pop the burst though, that being said, jumps out of the corner. Quite skillfully, not going to lie. Ah, Atra getting the hit, forcing Nage to pop the burst, and Nage with the Meteor! And Nage getting the juggle should be- Oh no, drops the combo! Let's see how this spins out, and Nage getting the hit with the scalpel. Takes the first round, very nicely done. Atra, very nice start of the round though. He did have ah uh, he did drew the first blood. Let's see how this pans out. Okay, we're good the standing S man. Well not the standing S, the uh, jumping the hover S. And little Faust is out. Out to play. You can see yeah. Nagi keeping yeah, keeping his distance, staying close to the little Faust, but little Faust unfortunately is too far now. But Nagi is fine. He found the opening, trying to get the shimmy. Getting the convergence though with the wall uh, bounce into the overdrive. Let's see how this spins out. And Nage with the hit and the juggle gets the first match very, very. Okie dokie, breads and cookie, let's go! Let's see if this change of character is going to bring some some momentum back to Atra. As of now, things are looking pretty good, not going to lie. Atra with the forest counter hit. Ooh. And Nage finding the opening with the close S counter hit. It's a full juggle in the corner with the wall break, but not before popping the overdrive for a guaranteed hard knockdown. <laughs> Actually never saw his animation, damn. 
actually a pretty nice one. Good stuff. Okay, let's see how this is going on. Yeah, man, Nage with the relentless, the relentless pressure in the corner gets the kill. Atra looking pretty shaken. Ah, getting hit by the uh, the dive kick. Oh lord, here we go to close S. Getting the forest. And getting a full combo in the corner. Into the Hog Baker. And the Tyrant Rave. For pretty nice damage. Okay, Nage finding his way out of the corner using the mix mix mix. Wary of the uh, DP, the Hog Baker of uh, of Atra. Well of Sin. Oh lord! Almost got the connection with the scalpel. That would have been sick. But still gets it, man. Oh, almost got the kill. That would have been sick. Man, Nage with the freaking... That is crazy. Good stuff from Nage. Getting the second match as well. Good lord. Let's see how this spins out. Is Atra going back to Ino? Nah, he's going to keep Sin. Okay, nice forest right there from Atra with the confirm. Getting hit by the dive kit though. And Nage has the cavalry and dominion out. Ah, good. Ah, conversion from Nage. Getting the scalpel and this is full damage. Good lord. And here we go, man. Yeah, Nage, man. Ah, getting the sweep as well. Preventing Atra from getting out of the corner. And the standing K for the kill. Nage, man, merciless. <laughs> Completely merciless. Okay, here we go with Nage and the jump in. Getting the, the closest. Keeping the... Uh, oh, getting the forest counter hit. This is going to do a lot of damage straight into the wall break too. Ah... Oh. Yeah, Atra looking pretty, pretty confused. And yeah, here we go with the Meteor side switch. There is nothing you can do there. Good stuff from Nagi taking it a clean 3-0. That was the cleanest 3-0 I've seen in a very long time. Sending Atra in the loser's bracket, I do believe. I'll definitely be playing Abba when she comes out tomorrow. So yeah, but it's been a while. Yeah, how you been? Okie dokie, breads and cookie, here we go. This is the first match of the semi-finals. Mountain Town versus Caffeine. Let's see how this pans out. Let me check if my bot is actually working now. No, it's not. <laughs> what the hell is going on? Why is it not working? What the hell? Maybe they changed. Yeah. Anyway, it's fine. Here we go with the Illusion Driver for the wall break. And Caffeine baiting that wake up DP from Maroncha. Not enough to kill though. Maroncha not gonna get hit by this. Blocked it actually. Yeah, the block it. Caffeine immediately popping the burst. Does not want to give away this round at all. By any means. And here we go with Maroncha. Wow, getting the hit with the forest into the stun dipper. Here we go with Ride the Lightning. Not gonna kill. Nah, no, it's not. So Caffeine does have one bar. What is gonna be the wake up and the standing K for the kill? Good stuff from Maronchan getting the hit and the kill. Let's see how this pans out. Good lord. Yeah, Maronchan trying to get that reaction from Caffeine. Invite him to like press the tech button and counter hit him, him with a jumping shimmy, if I might say. Oh, Lord DP. <laughs> Caffeine had all of the time of the world to confirm this. And look at the damage. Good stuff from Caffeine, man. Look at the damage. Good stuff from Caffeine using the freaking guard point as well. But Caffeine taking it with the 2P. One round a piece. He's going to take this one for the match. Not the set, that is. 
Ah, uh, Captain trying to meet Maronchan in the air. But Maronchan, man, delaying his fall with. I do believe it's the uh, jumping D. And Maronchan's gonna get the sacred edge with the heavy knockdown right there. Woo! Not too far for the grab and Caffeine punishing him. Punishes him accordingly. Okay, what is going to be. Oh! Maronchan, man, navigate, trying to navigate through all of these minions, but it is a definitely not an easy feat. Tries to go for the stun dipper, a little very far for a grab a temper there. Goes for the low, very nice. Ah, the freaking defense of Caffeine has been pristine. And Caffeine having Maronchan exactly where he wants him, but Maronchan reading the grab attempt, jumping out and punishing accordingly. Takes the first match and the lead 1-0. Let's rock and date. Big counter hit right there from Maronchan, forcing Caffeine to pop the burst. And we're back in the corner. Caffeine getting the juggle, forcing Maronchan to pop the burst this time around. Nice forest from Maronchan. Getting clipped by the 2K2D that every single Jackal player loves. <laughs> Again with the Sun Dipper saying, you're not the only one to get a sweep that travels on the ground and here we go this uh the fudra dark Marchand. oh almost getting the conversion did get the pickup though but caffeine oh with the ambiguous cross up getting again the knockdown with the 2k 2d and here we go with right the lightning uh yeah caffeine blocking it like a pro again man baiting the dp and the burst back to back Ah, the reads of this man, though. That was crazy good from Caffeine. Good stuff. Let's see if Marone can bring it back. I'm definitely not happy of what happened there. It's never, it's never fun time when you get your both. If you get both of your techniques baited back to back. In this case, the DP and then the burst. It's never a fun time when it happens. So I can definitely have. Uh, I can definitely understand that Marone channel is a little bit choked, shaken. Okay, here we go with the second round of this match. Nice jump out from Maronchan. Gets the side switch in the corner. Goes for the uh, full house zone. Yeah, 32 players. Can you believe it? It hasn't happened. Like, I don't know what's happening right now, but I think it's a combination of the end of the Arc, World, uh, Arc System World Tour and Abba coming out tomorrow. People just came back, I think, and just figured that they really wanted to play. And that was sick. Rum Maronchan with the sacred edge punish right there. And wasn't a read that was destruction. Caffeine took the whole book and turned it into. Yeah, man, that was crazy, man. That was like, shoot. That was, yeah, that was not a read. That was a prediction. Like, literally, he knew that it was gonna happen. That was a prediction, man. It was crazy. Anyways, here we go with Maronchan. Actually, bring it back, though. Going for the grab. Ooh, is that gonna be enough not enough but caffeine with the burst lives to fight another day ah oh, man with the guard point though you hate to see it happen oh enough to kill man that was sick maronchan with another one on the board like i've been watching this match it felt like caffeine was winning this whole time but i look at the scoreboard and actually maronchan is in the lead by a very significant one by, by the way but it feels like Caffeine should be in the lead, it's so strange. I've never really been faced with this type of situation before. But it really feels like when you see, you look at the gameplay, it feels like Caffeine is the one in the lead. But you look at the scoreboard and it's actually Moronja. Furthermore, the honeymoon period for many other FGs is ending it as well. Yeah, I can understand. I can, yeah. Some people who might have gone, for example, to Grand Blue Fantasy Versus or coming back to Guilty Gear uh, Strive and... Who wanted to check out Tekken as well, probably came back as well, I do believe, yeah. I mean Abba, Abba seems like a very fun character too. So yeah, th this is bound to bring back people and there are a lot of people who are actually waiting for Slayer as well and Slayer is coming back uh, as the fourth uh, DLC character, uh, fifth DLC character, fourth, I don't remember exactly how many there's been out already, but yeah, the fifth I think. 
So yeah, people are getting really hyped right now, I feel. Yeah, Stripe is going in a good direction. There are some things that I don't agree with still. <laughs> uh, but these are like personal uh, pet peeves, not generally like accepted uh, pet peeves. Noticeably, the, uh, the I, I hate the wild assault mechanic, personally. I really hate it. Uh, I feel like the... Um, it's not called the wild reflect, I know, but I, I that's how I call it. The wild reflect is fine, but I really don't like the wild assault. I wish it wasn't in the game. But uh, besides from that, I feel like the game is actually pretty fun. Yeah. Maybe you get like some nerfs on some top god, uh, god tiers. Top tiers and actually the game would be in a pretty nice uh, pretty nice state. I, I like the game as it is, that is, but I just really, really hate Wild Assaults for now. But yeah, apart from that, it's 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 a pretty fun game. I really like it. And I can't wait to play ABBA. Oh yeah, I'm gonna love this character. I can fix her, so. <laughs> Anyways, here we go to wake up DP man and Maroon Shop! Maroon Shop! Thank you very much for the follow FPS Kenny and welcome to the bro Joe. Well, let's see how this pans out. Here we go, man. Oh speaking of which look at this and Maroon Shan sending caffeine and the loot bracket! Maroon Shan playing so good today. What the hell is this? BBB Eto Big Black Bot <laughs> Or Big Black Butts? I suppose. Echo, let's see how this happens. Good lord! And here we go with Nage with the corner carry. Doesn't want to be put in the corner though. Gets the 3k right there. And Nage, oh lord! Nage with the... Ah, the air to air even gets the follow-up pressure on the... On his way back to uh, to the ground, that was pretty sick. Nice conversion, drops it though with the mix, mix, mix. Eto trying to get his turn back though. Okay, so let's see how this fans out. Nice retirement, Nage, man. Nage is the awareness of Nage is out of this world. It's crazy. And Nage with the counter hit gets the corner pressure and the corner carry actually. Gonna get the wall break straight into the overdrive. Kaboom! <laughs> and look at the damage, good lord. Nage, well, goes for the closest, forcing it to pop the burst or die if not. Okay, nice stuff from Eto finally getting something going. Go straight into the Ototoi, come on. Ah, Eto with the double overhead. Unfortunately for him, getting grabbed by Nage. And Nage taking the first map very convincingly. 1 to 0. What is Eto gonna do? We shall see. Oh, you're good. And on to the next battle. Wow, the entire arrows of Nage have been pristine. He tried to go and tried to bait that burst, but Eto was holding onto it. Dearly did not want to overextend. Getting hit by the closest yet again. Again, man, with the 3k. This has been the bane of poor Eto, man. Here we go with the grab. And Nage with the wake. Wow, nice 6p from it. That was sick. So trying to go for the overhead. Ah, oh, man, gonna get hit. Good stuff from freaking Nage going straight for the overdrive. And getting the kill, too. <laughs> what are you supposed to do? Here we go with the jump in from Nage, getting a counter hit. Got the meteors, man. Tried to go for a side switch, but a little bit too late for it, I do believe. Ah, good stuff from Nage. Again, wants the extension station and definitely wants that wall break. Oh, too far for the gold burst. And Nage taking the second match as well with just the standing P. Good stuff. Okay, let's see how this pans out. Okay, so getting the jumping this time around. Forcing Nage to pop the burst. Getting hit by the 6 speed. And getting a 6 HS counter. This is gonna do a ton of damage, isn't it? Ah, Eto finally getting the machine going. 
and straight into the overdrive, of course. Is that gonna kill? Eh, it's probably not. Yeah. <laughs> that, that super does garbage damage, seriously. Anyways, ah, oh lord, and a challenge from Eto, the bar from Eto. Nicely done. Gonna get the uh, first round of the second match. Of this third match, sorry. The big counter hit right there from Nage. Nage getting grabbed. Especially before the bomb came out. Big forest counter hit. And nice confirm from Nage getting that corner carry. Oh lord, getting the trade and still managed to combo off of it straight into the overdrive. Boom! Good stuff from Nage. Uh, Try to go for the tad dust, but man, it's a wait the wake up. DP said nope. Don't want to have to deal with it. Again with the overdrive. Who's gonna be the mix? Oh lord! This time around, it's no, it's so too late for his punish. But still gets the command grab. Should be able to seal the deal, and does with the clone. Eto finally putting one. Oh, putting one on the board. Good stuff. Okay. Okay, we're in. We're in. So let's see what Nage is gonna do. Okay, we're good. So let's see. Uh, Nage with the burst. Oh, getting the standing P. Nice save from Mini Faust. And Eto getting the follow-up. Couldn't get the uh, overdrive though in time. Does have the corner pressure though. Ooh, Lord, too far from the sending as and finally gets it. Goes straight into the overdrive. Here we go, the safe jump. Ooh, gets the follow-up. Big bonsai right there. And Eto manages to get the kill with the Roman cancel. Now to the next battle. Big Alpha Braid. Alpha Braid again. Who gets the overhead? Holy freaking Lord. Nagi was not expecting this. Gets it by the freaking uh, Satori. Things are looking pretty good for it. Oh, getting hit by the forest though. Ooh, almost got the hit. Why did it not hit? The 6P on the, the scalpel though, stream. Ooh, man, you're not gonna block that. Well, let's see how this pans out. Nage not out of this yet. Still has one. Oh, Lord, the trade. And Eto with the bar. No! Why? <laughs> Eto! Eto, stop giving me heart attacks, please. Good Lord. Eto has been dropping a lot of stuff during this set. And it's making me nervous. Anyways, he managed still to clutch it out. Oh, good Lord. Eto is gonna give me a freaking heart attack, man. Anyways, good stuff from Eto. Okay, here we go with the start of the round. The one who takes this match takes it all. Well, makes his uh, way to the uh, winner's final, that is. Here we go with the jump in. Nage with the wig on fire. Well, putting that wig on fire, that is. Extends the pressure with the wild, with the wild assault. Uh, let's see how this spins out. The weight is out. And Nage with the command grab. Another wig for you, sir. Ooh, Lord. And uh, the rip. How many instant overheads might you give? Ah, and here we go with the two, the 3k for the kill. Ito needs to make something happen right now. Big counter hit for Ito. He's going to get the corner pressure. He is. Goes for the freaking bag dash for yellow, uh, blue, blue Roman castle. That was sick for an instant overhead. Oh, big dive kick right there from Nagi. He's got the corner. Ah, that was not a good idea. Ah, but ooh, that was close. And so did have like two more danger. No, you don't want to DP there. Big closest counter hit. It will force off the burst. Too far to get the punish on the dive kick and unfortunately explodes right at the end. Nage takes it 3-2. to What are you doing? Yo, the again? Are you serious? What the f- 
What the hell is going on? I changed it literally five seconds ago. It's so freaking annoying. Thanks, uh, Exon, for the heads up. It's so strange. What is going on? It's really, really freaking annoying, yeah. Thanks, man. Why is it freaking Grand Blue? Maybe a restream problem, I think. Let me check real quick. It's so strange. It's so annoying, too. Thanks, uh, Exon, for the, the heads up. I don't know why it's doing this. This is really, really annoying. <laughs> but yeah, thanks, uh, thanks, Exon. Yeah, I changed it, yeah. Man, this is so annoying. Anyways, here we go with uh, the Ram Slam. Ram getting all sorts of juggle. Should be able to get the, yeah, the, oh, wow, and the Ram Slam for the OTG kill. Very nicely done. Let's see how this pans out. On to the second round. Hopefully, Twitch will stop changing the title of my stream. This is the second time it happened. It's really annoying. Uh... I'll be right with you guys. Okay, we're good. Ah, good lord. Oh lord, and Ipe actually managing to take the first round of this set. Ah, I think I know what the problem is. It's my fault. I'm, I'm just dumb, guys. It's my fault. Why is it there, though? Ah, it's fine, it's fine. It was my fault for the change of categories. I'm just really dumb. I... Through my OBS, which I used to try to, because my bot is having a problem. Usually it's Brojo Bot Cop, the name of the bot, but right now it's. So on my OBS, I have. Well, I'm using my OBS interface, and on it, I have like several windows that I can use in order to monitor different param parameters of my stream. And unfortunately, uh, the window which is. Uh, which monitors my bot, so the, the stream bot, and the details of the stream is linked together and in there the information of my stream was related to grand blue fantasy versus so when i tried to update my bot it also updated the the title of the stream and the the category of the stream at, at the same time so i like I'm, I'm just really dumb it's my fault yeah it does yeah so by updating by trying to update my bot it also updated the title of the stream unfortunately so that's the reason why. It's not it's not Twitch's fault. It's just I'm I'm really dumb. <laughs> it's just this. It's just this. So I'm gonna try to remember this and not update uh update the bot anymore. <laughs> Good lord. Well at least we found the problem. That's that's one thing. I just wish I could uh Yeah I could uh solve the problem with my bot, but I can't. Wait, wait. Yeah, it's always stream elements that come, comes up. And it's kind of annoying me. Which is fine, but it's kind of annoying. <clears throat> Damn, he pays really, really playing very good. Pretty crazy, yo. Guilty. I can do is uh, keep guilty or striving, but huh? Yo. Yes, no, guilty or strive, yo. Ah, here we go. Okay, now it's good. If I do it like this, it's not gonna freak up, right? Yeah, my bot just doesn't want to work today, so it's fine. Ah, well, of course it's your fault, but uh, that would have happened to everyone. <laughs> good job, Mikuri. Yeah. Thanks, man. <laughs> I appreciate the nice word. Yeah, I'm giving up on my bot for now. It's probably just a problem on stream element side anyways. And anyways, we're gonna go with... Suboy getting the grab. I haven't commented anything on this match, by the way. 
I think that Ipei is actually two, up 2-0 two to zero, if I'm correct. And Tsuboi is actually in pretty dire strain and gets hit by the standing jab from Ipei. I do believe this is it. Yeah, it is. Losers bracket, we still have some way to go. Is there only caffeine left as Jacko? Let me tell you right away. Uh, so you have... You have caffeine. Hagera has been eliminated, apparently, yeah. Ah, Hagera is out, indeed. Yeah, you're right. Caffeine, and that's it, yeah. Only caffeine is in, yeah. Uh, Hagera was eliminated by Roy, actually, 3-0, to zero, and that's very surprising. Because uh, Hagera loves this man. Well, he has a tendency to win against Roy most of the time. So yeah, only caffeine is in, still. And he's going to win against the uh, winner of this match, by the way. So either Amato or Atra. <clears throat> yeah, don't worry. Caffeine is uh, he's a uh, miracle maker. And I do believe that uh, Caffeine is pretty knowledgeable on both the Eno and the Faust matchup. And I do believe he has a tendency to win against both of these uh, these opponents. So Atra and, and Amato. So yeah, it, the Caffeine is, is definitely not out yet. So let's see how this pans out, though. Ah, big, big, big combination of incidents right there. Uh, unfortunately for Atra. Atra getting the low... Should be able to get the wall break, and Amato uh, waking up with... Oh, goes for the grab! Caffeine, the animator of sleep-deprived flesh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, definitely you should, yeah. Uh, Caffeine is a... Uh, he's a very hard worker when it comes to, to matchups that, you know, are kind of hard, I suppose, for Jackal. I, I do believe the, the matchup is hard for her. Uh, I'm just... I'm, I'm, um, I'm speculating. That being said, here we go with woo, with Atra. Unfortunately for him, having the wig on fire, getting hit by the cross up, and here we go with the wall break into the overdrive. I'm also playing really good. Good lord, get boom, and I'm also getting that wall break, and hard knockdown goes low, but nice blocks from Atra. Oh, Atra, who actually prevented the. Uh, the, the meteors from appearing, but it didn't stop Amato from getting the kill in the first match. Duel one. On to the second match. Okie dokie, breads and cookie. Ah, nice dice from Atra. He's got the knockdown, but gets hit by a dive. By him, uh, as, um, well, as, um, as a, how do you say it? He <laughs> gets hit on his way back by a dive kick himself. Good lord! Let's see, very nice sending key right there from Amato. Gets the juggle and the kill. And on to the next battle. Ooh, big 6p from Amato says, nope. You're not, you're not landing on me. And Atra trying to make the best out of the situation using the cavalry to extend his... Uh, pressure. Nice juggle from Amato. Going for the command grab. Nice jump in. Double jump in by Amato. Gets the wall break. Straight into the overdrive. Atra looking a little bit lost, not gonna lie. It's not Eno's favorite matchup. I, yeah, I, I, I'm definitely on this with Atra. Let's see. Very nice low right there from Atra. Should get a corner carry in the corner. Tries to go low, but Amato. Ooh, Amato getting. Oh, no! <laughs> I thought he was gonna. I thought he was gonna. He's gonna drop it. Get big tap dust and just like this. Amato taking the second match as well. Good lord. Okay, let's see how this pans out. On to the next battle. Woo! Nice! Oh no, the drop from Atra, but it's okay. He still has the pressure going. Okay, Atra going with the wall splat. Getting the heavy knockdown. Ooh! Nice conversion station by Atra. Ah, yeah. Atra trying to scoop Amato out of the air. Ah, no entire. Oh, a little bit too late to get any entire going anyways, but Atra getting the hit. With the hover S, eh, resulting in a perfect, Whew, big standing carry there. The bane of Eno players. Nice conversion from Atra. 
Very nice grab from a trap. Goes for the. Oh lord. Nice cross up from Amato. Lord. Goes for the save jump. Trying to catch Atra on his uh, jumping frames. A little Faust is out. Oh, a little Faust is out. Okay, here we go with Atra with. Oh, Lord, goes low. That was sick. And Atra finally putting one on the board. 2 to 1 for Amato, though. Amato still in the lead, but Atra gradually getting used to the pace of the match. And man, Amato with the freaking optimization station. Getting that wall break. Ooh. Okay, here we go with the 2S. And Amato with the close-up pressure gets the meteors goes for the side switch or the fake side switch actually that was sick you can only do this to good players like making it so you go for the side switch after throwing meteor but actually remaining in front that you can only do this to good players it's not possible to do this to less than good players anyways here we go with amato getting the first and actually on set point let's see if you can take it that was an unfortunately time mix mix mix. I try going for the double overhead. Ooh, getting clipped by the six P though. And yeah, Amato pressing one too many times the six P getting scooped by the six HP. HS HS from Atra. Little Faust has been activated. We go the low. And the 2S counter it. Wow, this is looking pretty bleak. Ah, oh, good lord. Amato. Ah, uh, this is looking pretty bad. Almost got the hit with the 2k, the standing k. And a freaking jump in for the kill. Amato taking it 3 to 1. Six to the next battle. Ito versus Ipe. Ipe made a very, very nice uh, job of uh, sending Tsuboy out of the tournament. So let's see if he can reiterate. The same against another fellow chip player, none other than Ito. Both have very different uh, times, um, types of gameplay, so let's see if uh, this gameplay type is going to be more efficient against Ipe or not. Ipe being very methodical does not want to overextend and gets hit by the uh, DP in the block strings of Ito though. Very nice combo right there from Ito. Look at the damage, good lord. People say that Chip does not have any damage output, and this should be it. Alpha Braid. Good stuff. 9k on Ipe. Okay, okay, fair enough. We'll see, we'll see. I think Ito might have it, though. We'll see. We'll see, we'll see. And here we go. Ooh, the fake cross under. No, the, the cross, um... The cross low. The empty cross up. Okay, no entire right there from it. It is pretty hard to entire at that angle. Okay, pick finding the opening. Goes air to air. Ipe with the corner pressure. Oh, too far to get his sword back though. Ah, Ipe not blocking high there. Gets opened by Ito. And Ito getting the hard knockdown using the wild assault. Go with the jump in. Ooh, wow! Alpha Braid for the kill! And I I Ito takes the first match. Yeah, let's see, let's see. It's only the first match. We, we never know. Okay, on to the second match. Okay, let's go with... Ah, the tick pressure. And Ito with the wall break gets access to the positive bonus. Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> it's a, using the shuriken to delay his landing. <laughs> Efficiently making Ipe with the 6p attempt and punishing him in the process. That was genius right there. Good stuff from Ito. Gets the grab. 
Ah, and here we go with the wake up overdrive from Ipe. Ipe. Oh, almost getting. Oh no, he ain't this hit. And Ipe getting hit by the command grab. Very nicely done by uh, it's a Man, here we go, Ipe, and the damage. Half of your life is gone, sir. Oh, nice here to her from Ipe. Catches it too. Continues the combo, goes straight into the Calvados. Pretty nice damage, all things considered, with the Paration. Yo, Marisa, long time no see. How you doing, man? Oh, good lord. And here we go with the tech. Ah, uh, Ito finding the opening goes for the save jump. Tries to get the grab, though. Cheeky. Cheeky grab there. So let's see. The pressure is relentless. Ipe definitely having a hard time trying to block them overheads. Good, good. What a hype. Yeah, man. The World Tour is sick. Who would have thought that Varys would have won? And he actually did. That is That was crazy. That final, man. Varys versus Slash. That, that I know both players are really strong. Don't get me wrong, but I was not expecting this at all. Like uh, American list and the Japanese list final was really, really. It was it, it was refreshing because it's really, really surprising. But it was also very yeah, just just surprising, you know. Yeah, but it was super hype. I really love Slash. What a freaking great player, and such a uh, he seems like such a kind-hearted and and and. Um, you know, uh, what's the, the, the what's the, the the opposite of sore loser? Uh, a, 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 g a good loser, I guess? <laughs> I don't know how you call it. Yeah, it's super wholesome, man. Such a great player. <clears throat> Show Kai and the Abba, Marisa. What Abba? Show me! <laughs> yeah, man, I I love to see it amongst uh, a sea of complainers and doomers. Yeah, definitely me too. Damn, Eto getting the freaking lead, yo. 2-0. to zero. Oh, me too, me too. I'm not the biggest fan of May, but I definitely... Oh, shit! Oh, that's an awesome Ava. That's awesome. Good stuff, good stuff. Nice emoji, yo. It's a gift, too. That's cool. You made it yourself, Marisa? It's awesome. Good stuff, good stuff. But yeah, I, um, yeah I'm really looking forward to Ava, by the way. Definitely gonna play it... Uh, play her, I'm sorry. <laughs> definitely gonna play her tomorrow. I'm gonna stream tomorrow just to play... To play Abba, I feel. I definitely want to give her, give her, um, give her a chance. <laughs> Let me grab pizza real quick. Go ahead, go ahead. No problem. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> Here's where we go with Ito getting that uh, juggle overdrive into the kill. Good stuff from Ito on match point. By the way, on the verge of sending Ipe out of the tournament. Let's see how this pans out. And here we go with the corner pressure. Again, he paid with the juggle. Look at the damage. Look at it. Okay, okay, breads and cookie. And here we go with the corner pressure. Man, he paid good stone. Oh! No, not like this. He paid not on the drop. Oh, almost so close. He paid not like this. And he paid with the trade for the kill. <laughs> Thankfully for him. Okay, he paid not out of it yet. Let's see how this pans out. Good forest counter. That did a ton of that. That was really, really nice. done by it. So getting the conversion station straight into the overdrive. Oh, toy, toy, come on. Yeah, let's see how this pans out. Here we go to jump in. It's all with ah, the, are you serious? The air grab. That was sick. Now it's all trying to get the grab a sneaky grab again. Okay, let's see how this pans out. Lord. Oh, again, he paid with the relentless pressure. Boom and boom. Okay, nice recognition station from it. Oh, with the freaking Larius use the blue room and cancel overhead. That was sick. And Eto takes it. Hey, thanks, battle. Thank you very much for the follow. <laughs> Bye, I you soon. Welcome to the Brojo. Rembrandt, unite. <laughs> Okie dokie, breads and cookie, here we go. This is the final loser's bracket uh, match. Well, not the final, final one, but the final one before we go back to the winner's bracket, which will be the winner's uh, final. After which we'll go on with the loser's semifinal, then the loser's final, then the grand finale. 
and then we'll have to split split ways and wish each other a very good night. But before that, we have a lot of time in front of us, a lot of very nice matches to come up. So uh, stay tuned. And that being said, we are uh, witnessing one very good one just as I speak, and I'm about to wake up with the overdrive. But caffeine say nope, I'm not biting that bite. And punishing with a uh, overdrive of their own. Caffeine takes the first round. Yeah, let's see how this pans out. And here we go with the dive from Amato getting that juggle using the uh, the dive kick. There we go, Amato in the close up pressure, putting fire to that wig. Oh lord. Oh! And Amato with the freaking shimmy using the meteor as a punishing mean. That was actually pretty crazy. Okay, this is going to be a wall break. Amato one hit away from getting that. Oh, now too far for the tab dust. Oh, but still gets the kill with the jumping. With a perfect, by the way. Good lord. Let's see how this is going to pan out. Okay, nice sending case to dispatch, to dispose of the minions, I'm sorry. Why do I say dispatch instead of dispose of all the freaking time? Anyways, it's fine. I'm not a native, uh, an English native speaker, so it's fine. Anyways, here we go. And capping with the corner block, the corner lock. Damn, I'm about to force to pop the, pop the burst. Here we go with Amato. Uh, to how how long does that freaking the the guard the guard point stays active? It's so crazy. And user, oh Amato got the opening, getting the corner juggle straight into the overdrive. Should be able to get some pretty nice damage in. <laughs> Good stuff from Amato. Was gonna be the the Schmix goes for a safe jump. And it's armored minion time. Three minions. Yeah. You can see caffeine does not want to extend. And Amato getting unfortunately chipped by the minions. I thought he was going to go for a... Uh, for the scarecrow uh, teleportation. But unfortunately didn't have the time for it. I suppose... Okay, here we go with the burst from Amato, calling the minions. Oh, Lord. The bomb is still here. Little Faust in the house, protecting their father. And uh, Meteor is out, but Caffeine just needed to block, which he did. No mixes in there. But here we go with the side switch combo though from Caffeine. Ah, I was on the verge of getting a 6p counter hit, but Amato did have additional tension bar in order to make his uh, jump attempt safe. Here we go with the knockdown from Caffeine. Goes for the freaking Roman cancel instant overhead. That was that was sick. Good stuff from Caffeine. Caffeine looking pretty good, not gonna lie. Let's see how this spins out. And the Meteor for the side switch. Goes for the cross-up. Mato with the mix, mix, mix. Good lord. And man, Caffeine with the kickoff counter hit. Kickoff, uh, kickoff, kick counter hit. The playoff kick counter hit. Oh lord. Oh, that's six. That's six. HS was sick. And straight into the... Elysian Driver! Thank you very much for the follow, JFC WX, and welcome to the Brojo. Good stuff from Caffeine with the tap dust and gets the punish on the burst and the kill in the process. Caffeine up 2 to 1, uh, 2 to 0, I'm sorry. Good stuff from Caffeine. Looking very, very strong, not gonna lie. And on to the potential final round of uh, the final match of this, uh, of this set. Mato with the 6 speed. Again with the command grab. Gets it. Gonna get put some fire on that wig. And here we go with the grab. Unfortunately, timed by Amato. 
getting grabbed by Caffeine. Caffeine with the tap does straight into the Wild Assault for the guaranteed hard knockdown. Is it going to be the wake up? Oh, nice decision from Amato to not deal with any of this pressure. Wow, the 3k, man. And the follow up. Caffeine catching Amato standing up a wee bit too often. Oof. It is teleportation time. Amato, man. Amato making his way again using the TP. Ah, getting hit by the golden burst though. You hate to see. It. Wow, that was sick. Using the freaking guard point to negate and prevent Amato from using the follow up of the scarecrow. That was absolutely sick. Okay, nice up from Amato getting hit by the standing Kato. Okay, let's see how this pans out. Nice use of the scalpel. The bomb is out. Here we go, Dominions. Oh, Faust has been activated. He's out of the screen now. Okay, Caffeine forced to bring the heat a bit. Or might be afflicted by the p ne negative penalty. Oh, Lord, nice jump in from Amato. Wow, what is Amato doing? <laughs> Yeah, nice blocks right there. Auto not overextending. Getting the closest counter hit. Be able to get some nice damage in. Oh, again. Nice juggle right there from Caffeine. Using their minion to try to deal the killing blow. But Amato still has their teleportation. Uh... Yeah, one more hit on either side, and Caffeine getting hit by the grab. Not enough to kill, though. Amato not getting the follow-up OTG ATC. It might have been enough to kill, too. It might have been enough. No, not like this. And unfortunately for Amato, this is Nage. Okay, guys, I need that glass of water. I'll be right back. Oh, nice. We have some near automata background music. One of my favorite games in the world, by the way. Good boom. Good first round by Maron Chan. Takes it pretty commandingly over Nage. Here we go to Stun Edge. Knife Spar S counter hit from Nage. And Nage getting hit again by the DP. But getting back some momentum with some Abar right there. Nage content to just take his time, doesn't want to overextend. Here we go with ah the head. And Nage getting that command grab. Wow, getting the freaking punish on the back dash attempt from uh from uh Maron Chan. That was a sick uh, option select, by the way, from Nage to catch the Bagdash. A sick setup, yeah. And here we go with the third round. Who's going to take the first match? We shall see. Big counter hit, but still, the Meteors were already out. You hate to see it. Nice jump in, but Nage getting hit by the DP. And the tap dust as well. Nage not popping the burst. Having to deal with... A lot of damage right there. Nice blocks from Maronchan and again with the DP. Man, Maronchan has been DPing for his life and Nage is probably not happy about it. Nage getting the trumpet and getting the conversion straight into the overdrive. Ow. Getting good with the hard knockdown. Ah. Uh, 
Oh, big six speed. No. No. And here we go with the fuzzy and Maroon takes the first smash. That was sick. Wow, I was really on the edge of my seat up for this one. That was sick. Good stuff from Maroon, John. That was really, really sick. Oh, yeah, on to the next battle. Nage is definitely not happy about this. Rightfully so. Okay, Nage does get the trumpet first. And the command grab. Okay, no okay. Nage keeping that corner positioning. Maron did get the cavalry, still gets jumped over by Nage. Nage with the relentless corner positioning gets the entire with the 3k. And the follow up with the mix, mix, mix. With punishes the DP attempt from Maron and gets the kill for this first round of the second match. Oh, speaking of which, Moran is up one, by the way. Mm. Okay, good stuff from Nage. Not afraid of the DPs from Moran. But Moran, man. Moran not afraid. Ah, yeah. But Little Faust is here to save the day. Cross up from Nage. Oh, no. That was an unfortunate... Yellow Roman cancel is that death? Yes, it is. Wow, good stuff from Maron, yo. Maron definitely looking very, very strong and solid right now. Let's see how this pans out. Maron tried to go for a cross up. Okay, here we go to closest. Nagi getting the corner carry should get it, be able to get the wall break or not. Okay, save pressure. Well, save jump in right there from Nagi. Getting that. Oh lord, are you serious? Did he know? Jumping back, ex probably expecting the DP and punishing the DP before Maronchan even had the chance to land. And just right now, baiting the burst attempt from Maron. Nage definitely, definitely not happy about what happened during the, the previous uh, matches and absolutely wanted to get the kill for this one. Evening the odds out. Very nicely done by Nage. That was crazy, yo. Nage is on another plane of existence, man. That was sick. Let's see how this spins out. Okay, Nage getting the knockdown. The meteors are out, but still gets clipped by the Abari DP from Maron Chan. Now he's blocked from uh, Maron. Gets the knockdown, forcing Nage to pop the burst. Gets back to the neutral. Nage still waiting and getting the hit with the scalpel into the golf club. <laughs> wow, Nage converting off of the weights, uh, basically dealing a knockdown uh, for Nage, picking Moronchan in the air while he was getting hit by the weight. That was pretty crazy from Nage. Anyways, back to the game. Okay, Nage does have the cavalry for him. Maronchan noticed this and straight goes for a grab to make it so that the animation of the grab grants him immunity while the cavalry passes through. Yeah, okay, you can see Maronchan uh, using his burst to keep Nage in the corner. Wow. Ah, yep. Nage definitely catching Maronchan flinching a bit right there. Expecting a command grab. But instead getting hit by the closest. Wow, that was an unfortunate overhead and Nage takes the third match. Getting a clear, clear lead of 2-1. to one. So Let's see how this spins out. Okie dokie, Nage with the command grab. Going for the jump in, getting hit by the wake up DB though. Oof. Good stuff from Nage, gets another command grab in. And goes for the double overhead, the instant overhead. Nage with the clear lead, gets the hard knockdown. Wow, I have no idea what it was, but still. Nage trying to bait that burst. 
which never came, thankfully, for Moronchan. Let's see how this pans out. Nice forest from Nage, catching the backdash from Moronchan. Got a little Faust is out to play, the bomb is out. Ooh, wow. The forest from Moronchan clips. What the freak? Wake up command grab from Nage, that was sick. Goes for the save jump and punishes Moronchan in the in the in the um, as a result. Nagi with the wall break. One more hit is enough to send him in the winner's bracket. And here we go. Nagi takes it. 3 2 1. Let's do wall break. Exactly, coolest legend. Exactly. Thanks for keeping tabs. <laughs> Sometimes I might not get every interaction that's happening on the screen and you are more than welcome to correct me. And here we go on to the next battle. This is the Losers Semi-Final. Let's see how this pans out. Hmm. Caffeine versus Ito. Okie dokie, here we go, Caffeine drawing first the blood, getting hit by the wake up DP from Ito. Ito's got the corner positioning, which is a little bit wary of the footsie potential of uh, Jacko right now. Tries to keep his distance, does not want to overextend, try to go in this time around. Isn't quite able to force his way through though. No more, uh, no more minions for you, sir, but Caffeine with the godlike, uh, the godlike defense, man. I uh, got hit by the Sukiyaki though. Here we go, the Sukiyaki straight into the overdrive. Kaboom! Eto dealing that hard knock now. Getting a pretty nice lead. Tried to go for a cross up, but man, Caffeine was aware of it. And just backdash out of pressure. Big wake up DP right there from Eto. Tried to get a side switch. Unfortunately, got hit by the burst. But still managed to get the confirm on the jump in. Uh, the jump S, which caught the backdash of Caffeine and was still able to pick him up afterwards. It was the jump HF, probably. Anyways, here we go with Ito going with the command grab. Ah, man. Caffeine clipping Ito right there with the 2k duty. Ito with the Abare. Couldn't quite get his counter. Uh, his counter normals in. Goes with the wake up DP. Get Caffeine off of his back. And here we go with Caffeine getting opened up though. You hate to see it. Nice grab from Eto. Eto, is he gonna get hit by it? I think he will. No, he did it! Eto, good stuff from Eto getting the kill and taking the lead 1 to 0. Okay, let's see how this pans out. Okie dokie, on to the next battle. Caffeine with the 2k 2d round start. Definitely worked out for him. Already has all three minions on the floor, but... Good lord. Caffeine content to just take his time. Does not want to overextend. It's chipping away at... Well, chips health bar ever so slightly. Ooh, tried to bait the birds, but man, it said hell no. <laughs> Waking up DP instead. Oh, again, here we go with the pressure. Ah, uh, yeah. Nice grab right there from Caffeine. Taking the first round of the second map. It's a pop in the burst in order to keep Caffeine in the corner. Getting clipped by the 2D, though. Wow. It's a very, doing a very good job of uh, disposing of the minions and then continuing the pressure on Caffeine straight away. Definitely knowledgeable in the matchup, I, I would say. Ototoy, come on! Thomas, yesterday. Hala. Good stuff from Ito. Gonna get the kill right there. Caffeine resorting to keeping his burst for the third uh, round instead of using it right there, and uh, rightfully so. Nice grab right there from Ito. Wow! Forcing Caffeine to pop the burst. Caffeine going for the grab. Uh, 
Tapping definitely wary of the wake up DP does not want to get clipped by the third time. Ooh, big 6P. Yeah, Kevin definitely looking for that DP. And you can you can bet your ass he's gonna DP a third time. On the third time this time around. Let's see. If Cap yeah, well, didn't have the time. But anyways, next time uh Caffeine has an Oki, I can guarantee you that's what he's gonna wake up DP. <laughs> he blocked, he didn't do anything last two times that he woke up. So I can guarantee you he's gonna wake up DP next time uh Caffeine has an Oki. Uh, or not. Okay, I lied. My bad. <laughs> My bad. And here we go to 2k, 2d of caffeine with the corner carry. Nice spacing from caffeine too, man. That was sick. Again with the whiff punishes. Ah, the DP came out. <laughs> nice OTG damage right there from caffeine. Taking the lead, by the way. One match apiece, but one round in favor of caffeine. Again, man. The spacing of caffeine being immaculate. Catching the bag dash of Ito. And finally capping. Punish it. No, dropping. He dropped the combo. Oh yeah, let's see how this spins out. Here we go to tap the straight into the overdrive. He finally baited it out, yeah. After five attempts. <laughs> but he did drop it though, unfortunately. But it's fine, it's fine. Caffeine did take the uh advantage, the uh, the lead, I'm sorry. Two to one. Let's see if he can keep it. Let's see if uh, Eto decides to yep to keep chip and he does. Now to the next battle. <laughs> exactly, yeah. But you know what? Better late than never. <laughs> Good stuff. Okay, nice for S this time around. Eto going straight for the overdrive for the hard knockdown. And Eto trying to bait the burst, but yeah, chances are caffeine not going. No, Eto, I'm going to freaking! I swear to God, Eto, stop dropping your combo! <laughs> I swear to God, Eto is giving me a freaking heart attack all the time. Stop dropping your combo! Come on, bro. <laughs> anyway, it's fine. He still got the kill, but good lord. Ah, here you go. Second. Oh, okay. Second bait. And Caffeine this time around did not drop his combo. Went for big boy damage right here. Look at the damage! Oh no, he didn't get the wall spot though. But still fine, he went for a uh what's it called? He tapped us. And just like this, Caffeine on set point. Is Caffeine gonna be able to uh, seal the deal? We shall see. Big gold. Roman Castle right there from Caffeine. No, oh, catching the bag dash with the standing age. Oh, here we go, the jump in from it. Oh. Goes with the bonsai. And pretty decent damage, all things considered. Lord, it's so finally baiting that person. Go straight for a full screen grab attempt. Ito man, tying things up two to zero. Full screen grab and succeeded. Good stuff from Ito. And here with the corner pressure, Ito with the freaking optimization station again with pretty nice damage. Ah uh, man, you and me, you and me both, coolest legend. I'm gonna love doing this type of shit, especially since I'm an Eno main. So, so running super fast is is a concept that is foreign to me. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna be looking forward to doing it with Abba, though. Yeah, definitely. That is gonna be so good. Anyways, as of now, it does have the life advantage, but it's something that can definitely change. And just as I say it, Kevin gonna take the life lead. <laughs> good lord. So what's gonna be? Ah, good lord. Ah, good stuff. Nice spacing from Caffeine, man. 
again on set point. Is he gonna be able to send Eto out of the tournament? We shall see. Caffeine backdashing for his life. And rightfully so, nice. Nice pursue attempt right there from Eto. Gets the hit with the far S. Straight cancelled into the overdrive. Oh lord! As someone that played Nago, I am very used to being both slow as fuck and going full scream in the frame. I uh, mean, I, yeah, I, I can definitely understand. Nago definitely has less mobility than my personal uh, main, so yeah, I can definitely relate. Good lord. But at least you have, like, Fukio, to be fair. Yeah, Fukio, and you have, like, the Zarameyuki, the clone, yeah. Which is okay, I suppose, but it does use my blood, blood gauge, so yeah. I can, I, I can understand. But yeah, man, I'm, I'm gonna really, really enjoy playing Abba. I think this is the type of character I was waiting for. <clears throat> a tanky, fast as fuck character. Who does an insane amount of damage, like there's, yeah, it's gonna be pretty cool. That's the point, Nago can switch from stationary to the other side of the screen and press, uh, in, yeah, yeah, I see what you mean. I see exactly what you mean. Surprise your opponent. <laughs> Anyways, we are on the last round of the last set, guys. Who's gonna take it? For now, Caffeine is looking pretty good. Oh, forcing the burst from BBB Eto. Ooh, no, way! no, not like this, Eto. Eto, not like this, and just like this. 2P Mash gets it, exactly. It was kind of anticlimactic, I'm not gonna lie, but you know what? As long as you win, you win. Anyways, on to the next battle. This is the loser's final. Who's gonna take it? We shall see. Maronchan has been playing out of his mind the entirety of this tournament, so I'm kind of rooting for him. I'm not gonna lie. But uh, yeah, that means I'll be right back, guys. You know, you know the drill. I need to get a glass of water. Okie dokie, breads and cookie. First round goes to capping. Let's see how this is going to pan out. Baron Chan doing a good job of trying to snipe caffeine out. Hmm. A big standing age counter hit right there from caffeine. Wow, caffeine has one of the best use of the uh of the guard point man. But Baron Chan baiting the DP right there. Look at the damage. It's gonna be. Oh no, no, what the hell was that? But it still worked out in the end for them. Man, that was the most fortunate execution error ever from Moronchan. I don't know if it was intended. If that was the case, that is crazy. Anyways, Moronchan getting cooped right there. Cappy not happy how the previous round went. Go straight into the Illusion Driver for the wall break. Big damage for Kefi. Well, decent damage, I'd say. Ooh, Maronta going a little bit ham right now. With the DP, big 6P. And Caffeine managing to bait the burst. For the kill. Good stuff, good stuff. <laughs> Falcon 2 <to> punch. <laughs> 2 punch, 2 punch. Okie dokie, birds and cookie. Let's see how this pans out. And caffeine. Illusion driver for some pretty decent damage. And man, caffeine baiting the DP twice in a row. Good lord, caffeine definitely ready for for Meron Chan this time around. Catching on to his uh, his tendency. Oh wow, yeah, Meron Chan trying to bait that uh, take attempt. Let's see how this spins out. Oh, 
Nice grab from Moranchan. Gonna go for the sides. Wow. For the cross up, empty, uh, empty grab, empty jump grab. Ah, should be able to get that wall break. Yes, he does for the kill. Moranchan not out of this yet. I think uh, Caffeine took the first. Yeah, took the first match. I keep forgetting to update the, the score. Okay, let's see how this spins out. Oh, big Fudra Dark counter hit. And this is going to do a lot of damage. Ronchan does have the hard knockdown and the lead, incidentally. <laughs> Falcon Punch is Psycho. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> Falcon Punch! Here's a rig with the 2k2d from Gaffeine. Good lord. Good stuff from Moran catching the bag dash in. Evening the odds out one to one. Let's see how this fans out. Oh, a little trivia for you guys. Well, not really trivia, but info. So yesterday was a pretty, uh, a, a pretty famous uh, online tournament in Japan. So it's called the uh, Fugashi. Fugashi? No, <laughs> damn it, bro. It's called. Wait, wait. Let me check real quick. It's the, it's a tournament hosted by Hatake san who is a uh, yeah pretty well known uh, tournament organizer in Japan. I keep forgetting the name of the tournament though. It's uh, Nichiokara. How would I translate this? Eto yeah, Nichi. It's called Eto Nichiokara Yofugashi. Yo Yo Yofugashi. I'm sorry. So it's basically uh, the translation of this would be uh, the staying. It, Staying up late at night on uh, on uh, on uh, Sunday, and it's basically a, a tournament that uh, uh, a, a dear fellow tournament organizer called Hatake hosts on Sunday night. Yeah, it's it's stream. It is stream. I can give you the archive if you want. Uh, here you go. Well, the archive you can find on on this person. Uh, he also has a YouTube channel. It should be we should uh, update uh, this relatively soon. But anyways. This is the, the, the channel of this person. And in the tournament that he organized, Nage participated. And Nage went until the grand final. But Nage lost to Hagiara, so Jacko player. What would be really, really fun, <laughs> what would be extremely fun is if, if, if Cafe makes it to the grand final and, and wins against Nage. <laughs> that would be pretty freaking funny. <laughs> yes, please, I basically follow every time. Yeah, no problem, go ahead. This is uh, Hatake. His name is. Uh, he he streams on uh, he streams both on Friday night for Grand Blue Fantasy Versus tournament, and he streams on Sunday night at 9 p.m. GST. So same same time as I do, but on Sunday for Guilty Gear Strike. Oh yeah, I know that one. I watched it. I just can't read the hurry. <laughs> it's fine. It's called Nichio Kara Yofukashi, basically. So. Staying late at night on uh, Sunday night, basically, and yeah, it's uh, it's the tournament he organizes. But yeah, if um, it would be so fun if uh, Cafe makes it to the grand final, beats Nage, <laughs> and basically wins the tournament, it would be so fun because Nage would have lost to Hagiara yesterday, who is a Jackal player, and to Cafe today, who is a Jackal player as well. And both Jackal players are extremely uh, are very. Um, I won't use the word loyal, but they participate to the Brojo Cup very often. So it'd be very fun if, if basically Nagi loses to, <laughs> to Caffeine today. I don't know, I, I won't hold my breath because chances are that, you know, Nagi is very diligent, especially when it comes to, uh, to fighting games and to fighting games that he likes. And chances are that as soon as he lost yesterday night, he went in the training mode to find some uh, strategies against Jocko, so I'm pretty sure he's ready for the matchup today. Yeah, and yeah, I'm pretty sure he's ready right now. But then again, Hagiara and uh, Caffeine have two very different gameplays, so style of gameplay. So, but we'll see, we'll see. Anyways, I'm, I'm definitely looking forward to it, and I'm definitely not discounting Maronchan. If uh, Maronchan is definitely a very strong Kai player, so chances are he might actually even prevent Caffeine from making his way to Tanage. So we'll see, we'll see. Anyways, 
On to the next battle. And here we go in Moronchan finding the opening with the Sundipper. Oh, getting hit by the standing HS counter hit though. And Caffeine with the corner carry combo gets the bait on the DP. And even punishes the jump in. Things are looking pretty good for Caffeine actually. Caffeine almost getting with punish there. Hmm. Okay, here we go with the with the zoning man you can see uh Moronchan not wanting to deal with the minions at all at all at all oh, but getting hit by the minions almost got the the side switch too big stun dip right there caffeine blocking right in time Ooh, and caffeine almost getting clipped with the follow-up of the jumping h as that Moronchan used very ambiguous jump in right there Let's see how this pans out. Okay, Caffeine with the opening. Straight into the Elysian Driver. Driver! Getting the kills. Okay, let's see how this pans out. This Caffeine gonna make his way to Nage. Is he gonna be able to? Dude. Well, to, to make a whole comeback on Nage from the loser's bracket. We shall see. Ah, a very nice uh, and wise decision of Maronchan to delay his burst attempt and burst use. Oh, straight into the Elysian Driver. Can it reach? Yes. Oh, no, it doesn't. That's why I thought. Caffeine being a little bit too optimistic right there. Nice box right there from Caffeine getting hit by the 4H as well. Okay, let's see how this turns out. Nice. 2K to the... Goes for the ambiguous. Oh, Lord. Here we go to stun the burr. Big 2S counter hit. And Maronchan with the kill. Not going down without a fight. 2-2. Two to two. Who is going to get the privilege of fighting Nage in the winners uh, in the grand finals? Huh? We shall see. Let's see how this spins out. Hmm. Okie dokie back to zoning. Moronchan not wanting to make his way to Caffeine unless there are no minions on the screen. And here we go. Very nice attempt. But backdash from uh, Caffeine on the Fugador. Okie dokie, and here we go with the corner pressure from Moronchan, man. Caffeine has been stuck in there for about two minutes at least. But finally finds his way out. Going for the safe jump, definitely wary of Moronchan popping the DP. And Caffeine with the OTG. Uh, no, Elysian Driver, why? But I believe that the wall break was instigated by the minion and not by... by um by caffeine that being said we are on set point is caffeine gonna make his way to nage nice standing p to get rid of the minion okay let's see how this pans out <sighs> nice dp man from our own sean goes with the forest counter hit and gets the bait on the deep on the the tech attempt Nice wall splat into the sacred edge. Catches the bag dash with the jump in. We are going down to the wire. Last round of the last match for set point. Ooh, and the jump in. That being said, Kevin does have the corner positioning. But man, Moralcha with a 4S. Let's see. Nice stuff from Moronchan, dis disposing of the, the minions. That being said, he's in the corner. Ah, oh, Lord. Ah, oh, here we go to jump in. Moronchan catching the back dash. This should be it, actually. Straight into the right, the lightning, and no chance for Caffeine to try to do what his fellow. And here it is, is the grand finale. Oh. はい、じゃあ、
Oh, it's in there. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, magic. Ah, here we go. Shinner de Wall, Hagiyala. Oh, ye. Oh, no. Okay. Here we go. Hi. I'm a tsuke master, Hagiyala. I'm a VIP. 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 Ride the lightning! Oh, and Rugu with the stun to per kill right there. Maron Chan, wrong first blood. Oh, big jumping from Maron Chan, man. Running a freaking train right now. What the hell? Big stuff from all too far to get the punish. This is unfortunate. Nice dive kick from Nage. <laughs> Big jump in from around shot. Almost got clipped by the bomb, by the way. <laughs> Ooh. Ah, good, good blocks from Maron. Ah, uh, using the stun edge. Uh. Wow, this is impossible to see. Uh, still not dead, but unfortunately for him, committed to the DP and Nage had blocks. Unfortunately for him, Nage takes the second round. The second, uh, yeah, the second round. Nice bar from Nage. Goes for the safe jump, gets a knockdown. And back to neutral, very nice. Wow, that was the longest jump ever. Big overhead. Nage. Catching Maronchan being a little bit too impatient right now, trying to get out of the corner. Goes for the tap dust. Beats the burst and gets the freaking kill using the damage of the wall splat. Nage takes the lead, 1-0. to zero. Let's see if Maronchan can bring it back. He had a very solid uh, start. Unfortunately for him, Nage just really adapted very quickly and cut every single one of their options off. Okay, and back to the zoning. Nice use of the standing key from Nage to force Maron Chan to pop the burst. Here we go with the ah, close up pressure. Ooh! Maron Chan finding the opening. Should get the wall break. Go straight into the red, the lightning. See how this spins out. Here we go with the jump in. Ow! Oh, and Nage with the overdrive. Unfortunately for him, Maron Chan blocked just in time. Yeah. Here we go with the cavalry. <laughs> wow. Maron Chan trying to go for the grab, and Nage, knowing this, goes for the command grab in order to uh, counter the grab attempt from Maron Chan. That was actually next level, uh, next level strategy right there. And man, the RNG is definitely in favor of Nage right now. And here we go with the standing jab for the kill. Nage taking the lead for this match as well. Gets the jump in. Yeah, Nage not overextending. Just for the standing P. Punishing the Fudra Dark attempt. <laughs> exactly. Good look. Ah, oh, man. Ah, oh, Nage. Nage having an answer for everything. Good luck. Here we go, the wall break. Boom. Yeah, wow, well, there we go. Nage with the 6P for the kill. And Nage, man, up 2 to 0. With the easiest. Let's go. With the, the smoothest run ever. <laughs> Oh, okay, get big start of this of the the round with Nage getting the knockdown, baiting the bur the the DP. That's crazy. Let's see how this spins out. Nice forest. And here we go with Nage straight into the overdrive.
He's gonna do a lot of damage. Let's see how this pans out. Nage with ascending S. Oh, he almost baited the Yellow Roman Cancel. And Nage, just like this, is on set point, man. Running a steam, steamrolling everything and everybody that came through his way. Big closest counter hit. Here we go with Nage, man. With the conversion station, getting the wall break. Big forest counter hit. Okay, finally, Maronchan getting stuff starting. Doesn't want to go down without a fight, and rightfully so. That being said, Nage does have two bars of tension right now. Okay. Oh, Lord. Nage letting it rip. Still getting caught, though, by the follow-up. Okay, Nage just giving this uh, round away. Didn't want to work. Didn't want to use his burst, and rightfully so. Okay, let's see. Nice forest, man. The freaking distance of the forest of, of, of Faust. A nice 6p right there from Moran. Getting hit by the sending K. You hate to see it. Uh, was that a. Yeah, that was a. That was a trumpet. Let's see how this spins out. Man, the freaking pressure from Nage. And just like this. Just like this, Nage is your bro joke up 103rd champion! Give it up to Nage! Take it!